Hey guys, I'm back. Um, a new hero came out today for Heroes of the Storm. It's uh, Bambi's mom, Lunara, daughter of Sonaris. And uh, I was actually kind of excited to um, try her out. She looked kind of fun to be, partially because she runs 20% faster. I think that's her... Oh, that's not her trait. That's her just her mount swiftness. It's always on 20% faster. Um, but uh, yeah, so she's out today. I'm going to give her a try. I want you guys to have the experience with me. Um, again, guys, uh, sorry for the lack of content on the gaming channel. <sighs> it's been busy. I won't bore you with that, though. Let's get to Lunara. I'm going to try to keep up uh, content uh, more regularly, as I promised in the past and never could do. Okay, so um, she has uh, her uh, her mount is always on, but it's not as fast as everyone else's. So she runs a little bit 20% uh, faster. As you can see, she uh, kind of prances. So there's that, like, um, you can see that, uh, her selection circle that she doesn't move at a steady pace. How it speeds up and slows down. So it's kind of, it's realistic. Realistic of the storm. Um, and uh, her trait is that she poisons people. Has three, st you can stack it three times. And um, and it'll continue to poison. Oh, I'm level 20 right now. I was wondering why the total damage was ridiculously high. Holy crap, that's a lot. Uh, she's an assassin character, I believe. But um, Noxious Blossom damages whoever's already been poisoned oh wait, no sorry no this just does area effect damage which adds another stack of poison crippling spores increases the poison nature's toxin that's already on it so yeah and every attack will poison a guy and they can stack and then there's the wisp which which you can just send oh that's slow I thought it was faster than that oh okay towers do attack it um but yeah, so you can send that to scout as well. So, uh, I feel like strategic character. I like this character because uh, here, let's add the minions. Um, because you don't want to just attack one one guy, which is cool. Um, you want to attack several different guys. So I attack him, maybe some Arthas a couple times, and then as soon as I get poison on everyone, you know I can press the uh, W to. Um, make the poison even worse, <laughs> I guess. So let's do that again. I'll try to make it a little more clear. I kind of misclicked there. Again, you can send the wisp, go scout. You can move it too. Oh, it takes a couple seconds to thing, but yeah. So it can it can scout, which is cool. All right. So one, two, three. Oh, and then I press W to increase it. I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna do it again. Start spreading my poison everywhere and uh, and then I can press W oh it's not very clear <laughs> okay uh, take away cooldowns where is it toggle cooldowns okay so let's do this again I'll try to make it as clear as possible you guys get the idea though um, so I'm gonna hit everyone with this and I press W and it and this is just instant Damage, or I think it adds damage on top, but yeah. So I, I th it probably gets pretty strong um, as you. Yeah. Add to it. Okay, let's try uh, talents here. Um, okay, increases Noxious Blossom radius. Crippling Spores returns mana. That's pretty nice. Um, reveals enemies. Ooh. Uh,. So my passive can reveal enemies when they for uh, a duration. It doesn't say the duration though. Uh, reduce crippling spores, cooldown, mana, whatever. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a couple here. I'm gonna go to level 10. Um, let's do uh, reveals enemies because I'm curious how long that'll go for. Uh, so let's see when he retreats back. Say here. So that's a pretty long time there. Holy crap! Okay, there. That's pretty good. That's that's good. I like it. Um, move speed and vision, sure. 
Nature toxin heals me. Cool. All right, let's do um, let's do the jumpy one. That one looks fun. Okay, so this one you have two charges. You can jump and attack people. Pretty good. So I'm curious if you're right up to them. Okay, so you go the same, you go half the distance, looks like. Cool, okay. Um, and let's go to level 20. Uh, let's see. Increase nature toxin damage to slow to slowed heroes. Okay, that's interesting. Um, that probably synergizes with something else. So the toxin does more damage if they're slowed. It'd be cool if it did more damage the more they were slowed. That would be really interesting. Uh, and then uh, let's just do increase base. Sure. Um, okay, level twenty for the boundless stride. All leaping strike charges return at once. Can target allies. Oh, okay. That's weird. Okay. So I'm going to take off uh, probably the cooldown. So if I don't... It doesn't... Uh, the cooldown doesn't stack, basically. It only has a 20 second cooldown. Very short. I think all of our alts have a very short cooldown. Which is, is nice. Got him. Um... So both two charges right off the bat. One, two, no. What? Isn't that what it said? Return at once. Oh, I didn't click it. <laughs> I thought I clicked it. <laughs> I thought I clicked it. So yeah, I think she's a strategic character because you want to spread out your damage. Um, uh, to to maximize damage as much as possible, which is cool. Um, you know, instead of just you know forcing all your damage to one target or a couple targets or whatever, doing as much damage as possible, you want to be strategic as uh, as you output damage. So there you go. It'll so the level twenty is now applied. It'll do two charges right away, like my failed attempt last time. Um, one, two, yeah, there you go. So I can go kill Arthas now. Maybe. Yeah, I got him. So yeah, that's uh, that's hurt. Let's um, let's uh, reset level. Um, so we can do the other alt. Sure, whatever. So we're just gonna choose a couple of them, and then Thornwood Vine. Uh, actually, let's not get the level twenty yet. So this is just um, does damage <laughs> in a straight line. It hits everything, as far as I understand. Send forth vines that deal five hundred thirty-three damage. Again, I'm level thirty, so it's gonna be a lot, and it holds three charges, which is ridiculous. And you can basically do it right away. Um, which is pretty good. And what's the cooldown on it? 15 seconds. So basically it's giving you another ability. It's kind of like Sergeant, Sar Sergeant Hammer's um, one of her alts. I don't know how long her cooldown is, but it's basically just giving you another ability that's really good. Although the cooldowns do stack. So you can be super bursty with it or... Um, not bursty at all. So what I mean by the cooldown stack is that uh, it's a 15 second cooldown but if I use all three charges all at once to get all three charges back I have to wait 45 seconds. Um, it doesn't just it doesn't have their own separate cooldowns they they queue up I guess is the right word for it. So. I heard this. So, what's level 20 now? Level 20, uh, increase Thornwood Vine range and speed. What's the speed right now? It's pretty fast already. 
but it is thin, so I guess it, it'll be not too hard to, well, it, you can't avoid it. Uh, I'm going to toggle cooldowns off, um, and get this. What's the other one? Activate to increase movement speed. Okay, 80%, and remove negative status effects from yourself and the targets. Abolish magic. Okay, so let's uh, let's see how fast this goes first. Yeah. We're good. Okay, uh, and I will set the level back. I want to try that other level. How fast I can run. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Let's see how fast we can run. Uh, blah blah blah. Doesn't matter. Oh crap! <laughs> Shoot! Shoot! I wish I could just change the talent right here instead of do this whole where you go through all the talents again okay let's see let's see this horsey all right now i can press z 80 percent 80 percent yeah 80 percent faster for six seconds so let's see well that's weird that pause is really trippy Uh, toggle cooldowns. See that pause? That leaping. It's weird. I guess that makes her harder to hit. Which is good. You know. Spam my ult. Um, but yeah, that's weird. Look at that. That's weird. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess if you're fighting someone with skill shots, that actually might be handy. Because it's it's really weird to predict. She leaps around everywhere. Which is, is kind of nice, because then you get a burst of, uh, of speed initially, which that means she's she's good at avoiding targets. Like, because the, the speed um, co is compensated for the, the stall, the... the at the right, the stall at the end there, of the the leap, so that means she moves out of the way quicker um, to avoid targets than um, than any other. I know she moves twenty percent quicker, but you know what I mean. Like her, she her initial acceleration is is quicker um, <coughs> than just twenty percent because of that stall. So that's that's interesting, and you, it, like it looks kind of trippy when you're. But you're just like moving around like that. Anyway, so there's a uh, there's the Lunara guys. Um, interesting character. I think I might buy her just because uh, she's quite different. Even though like a lot of her abilities are like I don't know. Actually, her abilities are pretty different too. Oh, interesting character. Um, uh, yeah, so enjoyable. So guys, uh, she's available in Heroes of Storm right now. If you want to try her out, you can. Um, I think I might purchase her, so I might um, do a map, or do a match, rather, and upload a game. But guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and um, hopefully I can get you guys more content um, soon. It is the holidays, um, so I'm going to try to you know, take it easy, not work as much. I've been working like crazy, and uh, play some games, have some fun. And remember why I do what I do. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this and uh, we'll see you guys later.